welcome back. Well, some Nigerians have been saying that electricity distribution companies have quietly increased tariff payable by power consumers across the country. Uh, they have put it at about 72 naira, 20 cobble per unit. Uh, uh, that's supposed to be a hike of about 60 naira. But anyway, we'll get to the crux of that now with the chairman of West Power and Gas, Mr. George Itomi, joining us uh, from uh, Ikoi in Lagos. Good morning, Mr. Itomi. Happy New Year. I haven't seen you this year, virtually or otherwise. <laughs> It seems you're muted, Mr. Itomi. I cannot hear you. Okay, sorry. Happy okay. New Year. Happy New Year. Glad to meet all of you in um, Channels Television. Thank you so much. So is it true? Is it true that uh, electricity tariff has been hiked again? That's, that's the news going around. <laughs> well, yeah, they, they, I, I, we just love the word uh, hike. What has happened is that um, television tariffs, as I've explained to you before, um, are heavily regulated. And by law, the regulator is supposed to give a five yearly projection of what these tariffs will be. This is the major tariff review contained in the multi year tariff order. So they gave one in January of 2022, which will take us to January of 2026. In between, there will be, there's provision for minor reviews every six months to cater for inflation, um, currency exchanges, and so forth and so on. So it is this review which had been given since, this approval that's been implemented across the discos. Um, and just to situate the argument, it is not all tariff bans uh, that, are, that are going to be increased. In ECO Electricity, for example, it's only bans A and B for which these tariff increases have been approved. And they are less than 20% tariff increases, not the 60% or the 72 Naira. Even with this increase, the highest tariff rate is still around about um, 68 Naira. Uh, so that's not true. For the more um, vulnerable groups, that is the bands A, F, M, C down to E, uh, for ECO there has been no increase. It may jolly well be this different with other discos, uh, but um, it's the yearly, um, it's the multi-year tariff order that governs uh, tariff increases. It's not that the discos quietly increased it. Um, the other thing to also understand is that a pursuant to this powers exercise by the regulator to approve increases, the minimum remittance order of every disco, in other words, the money discos remit to the market because they also pay for the power they receive, is also increased. And um, no excuses are entertained. If you, if you don't meet up with that many, minimum remittance to the market, then you owe the market with a dire consequences. So this is the only way the performance improvement plan, which is the plan that's been put in place to steadily improve on the electricity market can work. It depends on all the other indices being taken care of. Don't forget the electricity market also operates um, within the uh, larger economic market in Nigeria. So the so far, uh, things to do with inflation, with currency, um, uh, variations, and so forth and so on. And they have to, most of their materials are imported. They don't even get any allocation, no favorable allocations from the CBN. They have to source for forex like everybody else. So they make this case to the regulator who then uh, looks at it in a minor tariff review and makes for these adjustments. Otherwise, uh, it will be a panacea for failure because they will be unable to meet with their market uh, obligations. So this is really what's going on. And it's important Nigerians understand this because it is not something that should take anyone by surprise. It is available uh, on the net website. Anybody can access it. It's not a secret. It's open. And you can see what's going to happen. You can see what's going to happen from now till 2026. And you can plan accordingly. 
All right, uh, this all right. is the way markets work, uh, electricity markets work, not just here, all right. uh, but all over the world. All right, Mr. Toby, I understand that it's on the website, but is it possible to have more customer relationship between the consumers and the discos, more communication, perhaps, you know, the bulk texts? You know, that would really solve a problem where Nigerians are suspecting. I do know that it's, uh, I mean, because I've been having this conversation for a while, that it takes, it, it, the procedure is long. You have to get, reach out to the regulator. So maybe when we hear about it as a consumer, you are just asking the regulator when the approval comes and is implemented, you know, a lot of people have forgotten that, you know. It, so can there be more customer relationship and communication? You have it on your website, but in reality, how many Nigerians will go to the website? Oh, let me go and check and see my disco and see what they are telling me. But you know, bulk text, text messages, all those little things, I think it will make, it will bring more understanding. Absolutely correct, uh, Ini. There is no substitute for a friendly customer relations between uh, discos who are the last mile and the face of the industry and their consumers. Uh, good advice is well taken. And I'm sure if um, the discos are listening, it's, it's good advice, it's unassailable. Uh, customers should be primed because they too also need to plan um, and not wake up one morning and suddenly find that they're going to pay more or you vent and the normal, normal unit you normally get suddenly is less. That's the first way you get to know that uh, there has been a tariff increase. Uh, I think this message will be uh, sent across, I believe, Annette the uh, umbrella group of the discos is listening and they will ensure that this happens across board. But oh. just so we situate the argument, um, this is um, a tariff increase that follows a laid down pattern of the multi-year tariff order as required by law. This is the only way we can create confidence amongst investors uh, so that as the sector begins to evolve, I'm sure you're seeing all the things that are going on in the in the sector and there's a move for new legislation there'll be more players the market will be more dynamic you need to create that enabling investment environment so that new players can come uh, into the game all right mr tell me just before we let you go there's always the argument of we have this amount of power generated which is much much more than this amount of power uh, distributed and so is it either some is left fallow or is lost in between. Help us to understand what's going on around, around uh, uh, this generation and then the distribution. Thank you. I'm glad you asked that question because um, consumers need to understand how the power industry works. Um, most of the power we get in Nigeria are from thermal plants. And the feedstock is gas. I think 80% of that. The remaining is hydro. We don't have too much problem with the hydro elements. It's the gas elements. And as you know now, gas to power um, has not been the best of policies generated. We use gas for export to LNG and coal, but when it comes from gas to power, we're lagging behind. And so most of the contracts at that end are what we call the best endeavor contracts. They're not contracts you can actually hold the gas coast to. The gas poles themselves claim they're owed a lot by the government. So they give power when it's available. And most times you have greed collapses. It is because the gas poles pull the plug. And when there's no gas, uh, you, don't, you can't generate power. And when you don't generate power, there's not much to distribute, uh, to, to transmit in the first place. And the transmission company itself um, can collapse if it doesn't have Power. If it has too much power because of its own constraints, it can also collapse. For example, under the MITO we're discussing, the um, promise we've been given as discos is that initially from 5,000 megawatts, the government is now saying we'll give you about 4,500 as a minimum. But only the last few days, if you notice, the, 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 there was a minor uh, constraint for production. It fell to uh, just under 2,000 megawatts. So these are the kind of uncertainties we live in. And the discos, who are the last mile, unfortunately facing the industry, are the ones who carry all the blame. Not minding that the discos can only distribute what is given to them. If you notice during the holiday period, when many industries were shut down,
Oh, wow. Seems like we have a little bit of a freeze there. <laughs> okay. Are you back, Mr. Toby? Uh, just hold on. Okay. Mm. Are you back? We, 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 can, we can see you and hear you. Ms. Itomi, you're back. You're about to conclude your can thoughts. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. All right, uh, I guess we have to leave it there for Mr. George Etomi. He's the chairman of West Power and Gas, and uh, that's on the board of uh, Eco Disco, telling us that, that, yes, indeed, you have seen less units <laughs> compared to what you had last year or in December. Uh, but uh, he has promised that there'll be more communication between the discos and the consumers, and that will at least keep the consumers abreast of what to expect when you go out there to recharge your uh, uh, power, your electricity.